Hola amigos, soy Jane y esto es Fincate. Bienvenidos. <música> Today I wanted to talk about the new composting toilet. This entire video is going to be about going to the loo. And if that's not your bag, then skip this one. Composting toilets have really, really bad press. Uh, I have used a couple of uh, composting toilets that were public toilets in public spaces. Uh, in the UK and uh, it wasn't a great experience. They were pretty disgusting to be honest. Now you have to understand that at my time of life I don't want to be roughing it. As a permanent solution it, it, it has to be nice, it has to be hygienic, it has to look good, it has to be convenient and it has to be a really good long-term solution for water conservation. I have to do this because the drill is only five and a half centimeters deep. Ah. Oh. Time, so. Hiding under there is the toilet, under there is the bidet, and that is the start of a hole for the pipe. Oh, hello. That will take all the nasty smells out. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Oh, I wish rain. Mm. Why has it got all this? Protection. Oh, come off. It's just a covering. Okay. Well, why don't you take it off then? Well, because I want to make sure it fits first. And I don't want to spoil the pipe yet. There we go. With a slight downward angle to lower any condensation and flow back towards the toilet. As instructed. Isn't there a chimney? No. Oh. You can have it just straight out the wall like this with the vent. Okay, so any smells come right back in the window. <laughs> I thought it had like a chimney that went no, up. No, there's different ways of fit. There's three different ways of fitting it. You can fit it straight out the wall like okay. this. You can fit it up inside, all the bloody little mayfly things. Fit up straight, which you obviously wouldn't do because I'm not going through that roof. Or you, and if, if you need to, you can put a pipe on the outside, but well, they give you the minimum. Okay, so <coughs> if we find that it, the smell is coming back in the window, we can retrospectively fit a chimney to take yeah, the smell so. further up. Well, yes. Put the, in our magic up to bits, we have an outdoor cover for the pipe, and we have two filters one that goes on the outside, the circular one, and one that goes on the inside of the toilet. And that prevents bugs, creatures, whatever else coming back in. So, uh, this particular system that we have bought, it it's a bit more upmarket than just uh, pooing in a bucket. It's called the Separate. It was not cheap, but at the end of the day, it was really important to me that this not be uh, just a bucket with a toilet seat on the top. I mean, it isn't just for us. Even if we were prepared to put up with something like that long term, we have visitors and family members and disabled members of the family as well who may not find 
um, using a simple bucket affair, uh, very convenient. So the separate system um, works on the premise that, uh, believe it or not, it is not the solid waste that smells, it is the liquid waste that smells. And I can assure you that is absolutely the case. Probably, yes. I'll have to send for some more of these, I think. What are they? Well, they're supposed to stop a build up of of solids in the urine train, they're biodegradable. But it keeps the smell up there as well. Drain cleaner. Placed in the urine container prevent deposits and blockages in the urine drain. The product contains water soluble blocks with enzymes that break down urine and bacteria that cause bad smells. Coconut oil, sodium salts of fatty acids, sodium sulfate, bacterial cultures and perfume. Warning, do not eat. Do not eat. Eat. system the liquid waste uh, goes in through a pipe and actually goes into the drain and out to our deposito which collects water from the washing machine and will collect water from the shower and the sink as well and that water will be used on the trees uh, it has yet to be seen whether there will be a significant increase in smell from that um, because we're putting urine down now. I will keep you posted. The solid waste uh, goes into a completely different container, which is a bucket. And uh, in that bucket is a biodegradable bag. You don't have to keep using the biodegradable bags, but uh, as long as we can afford to, we might order more of those. But it isn't absolutely necessary. But that will negate the need to clean out the bucket every time we empty it, as in washing the bucket every time we empty it. But that's no biggie. That can be done. Also, you will have seen um, a pad went into the bottom of uh, the bucket for the solid waste, and that is to absorb, absorb any liquid that gets in there by mistake. And that is an issue that I was quite concerned about. Because of uh, female anatomy, it's sometimes very difficult to keep the two liquids and solids apart, going into separate containers. And um, I have seen on another video of a woman who's using exactly the same system in the USA where she suggested a funnel to make sure that uh, when a lady pees, her pee goes in the correct place. So that is always an option, although I'm going to give it a go and see how how this works. So it looks like a normal toilet, more or less. 
it's as easy to clean as a normal toilet, but there is no toilet brush. I don't have to bother with I hate toilet brushes. I can't help every time I look at them, I think germs. After peeing, uh, you put a cup of water down, and if you want, you can spray with vinegar and give it a wipe around. Yeah, we have yet to get a composting container for when we empty that bucket. That's the next job. The proof is in the pudding. I am not going to pass judgment on this quite yet. I will give it a go uh, for about a month. And the weather's getting warmer as well, so it should be a good test. And I will report back.